Jim Snell in the USA with TRS. Today we're going to discuss just changing the water pump seal itself without taking the clutch cover off. And we can do that by laying the motorcycle on its left side. The quick change method of water pump seal maintenance. Here we see circled in red. That's actually the drain if you were to drain the coolant. That's the water pump cover. In this video I will show you how to change the water pump seal without taking the clutch cover apart. You have the bike laying on its left side as flat as you can get it. You don't even have to drain the coolant because the pump area then becomes the highest point in the system when the bike is on its side. Yes, a little coolant will come out, but that's just what's around the pump area there, as you can see. And hold the pump cover out of the way with a zip tie or something. And the first thing you want to do is just to take off the little gasket there. You can reuse it if you're careful. It's got aluminum sandwiched between the two black fiber sides. Starting in 2019, there are little bushings there to help align the cover. Spin off the impeller counterclockwise. Just like that. It tightens as it spins into the water stream, so those don't come loose. And then with a very small screwdriver, you can pick out the old seal. Clean that area really well and get down in there where the seal goes also and clean that. You want to lubricate that with a silicone lubricant as shown here. You can also get it in a little tube at the auto parts store. Lubricate the seal inside and out so that it'll install a little easier. And then uh, you can use the blunt side of a socket to press it in. It just has to clear that shaft and still support the seal. I happen to have found a spiffy little aluminum piece that was a spacer off of some street bike at an earlier part in my life. That's what I use, as you can see here. That's not a special tool, but it just happens to work perfectly. I use a low impact hammer, plastic or rubber, and just tap, 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 and you put the seal right in there, perfect. Just feel or see around the edge that it's lying in there perfectly flat, and remember that the spring side of the seal faces up. Now we spin the impeller back on there, clockwise. It does not have to be super tight because remember it can't come loose because of the water direction of flow. Using the kickstart pedal, check it just to make sure that the pump turns correctly. Put your gasket back on in the correct position. The three water pump housing bolts, two of them are one length and one of them is a little longer. The longest one goes there, the two identical length one goes there and there. And remember there is a copper washer. It's usually very clearly visible down in the pump cover to seal because that's the drain. Tighten the bolts with your G-handled Allen wrench. This is the radiator pressure release valve and if this is fouled it can also cause your water pump seal to leak. It has a little 
ceiling washer on it and it goes in the top of the radiator. It's a simple little check valve ball and spring. It's right next to your radiator filler cap. I devised a simple little test here to show you how that little pressure relief valve works. I've got a 12 volt air compressor. I've got the pressure relief valve sealed into the end of a little piece of rubber fuel line securely sealed with uh, aircraft wire. You can see here with the pump running that it's bubbling. When I turn the pump off, it quickly stops at 25 psi. 22 to 25 is the correct amount that valve will hold before it releases. There are two types of radiator caps. The silver ones that are on the new 22 and, and later bikes are steel. The earlier ones are aluminum. You need to use only a six point like shown on the left here, not a 12 point because it can bigger up the points on the aluminum black colored cap as shown here. A 12 point will ruin that cap and you do not tighten that cap, just snug. Uh, here I show the proper fluid level in the radiator it should not be clear to the top if it is when it expands it will have excess fluid that will come out the pressure relief valve thank you for watching my videos 